Good morning, travelers. We are in Belgrade and we are about to do a road trip to the nearby city of Novi Sad. We're just walking out of our apartment. We're in the neighborhood of Dorchko and it's well known for having all these graffitis on the wall. Today it's Sunday morning, it's super quiet. Everyone, I guess, is still sleeping. There was a huge beer fest going on. So everyone must have had <laughs> lots of beer and still sleeping. How are you feeling? You ready? I feel great. To get in this road trip? Yes. We're walking. Hope it doesn't rain. Yeah, no. Well, it's pretty cloudy, but uh, hopefully we got the weather on our side. We're walking like 20 minutes to the car rental place. We'll pick up our car. We'll go pick up some friends and then we'll get on the road. So let's go. What do you think of this car rental place? <laughs> Well, we're trying to look for it, I can't find it. <laughs> the guy from Six told me that they were understaffed, so to come find the car at a random address, and we are here, like in the middle of nowhere. At least there's a cute kitty. All right, let's see if we find this place. Vicky, the cat whisperer. Okay, this is definitely more like it. But they're super chill here in Belgrade. The guy literally just sent me a WhatsApp saying, hey, we don't have enough people to bring it to the location that you rented it from, so just come pick it up. So that's exactly what we're doing. Let's see what we get here. Well, that was a very easy car pickup rental experience. I had prepaid online and within two minutes, we are now on this nice looking Fiat. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. If you ever wonder what a Serbian gas station looks like, looks like exactly like something you'll see in the States or any other place in Europe. It's got its proper coffee spot here. Pretty modern, I'll say. So the local spirit of Serbia is called Rakia, like this here, and this one's actually look pretty cool. You can get a bottle of fancy Rakia here for about 38 euros or so. It's a pretty dangerous stuff. Let's see what else they have here coffee some milka this is good stuff if you guys are ever in europe make sure to try some milka stuff that's good stuff that's about two dollars right there for uh, some chocolate cookies so the coffee is from colombia as a Colombian, we're super happy to see Colombian coffee everywhere we go. So this is a perfect example of seeing Colombian coffee on the other side of the world. So we are on the countryside in Serbia looking for this winery that we were recommended by a local. We are two minutes from there. We're actually on the border with Hungary and this is what the Serbian countryside looks like guys. Super rainy today though, sucks. You guys ready for some wine? Yeah! We want some wine in the back. Oh, oh, oh. We passed it? Oh, no, no, there no. was just dogs running over oh, the street. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we don't want to kill any dogs <laughs> making no. YouTube videos. There it is. Oh, so hello. It, it's like a little castle. castle. That looks badass. And look at all the grapes. All right, guys. Here looks we go. Like we're in for a treat. All right, so we just arrived to Vinaria Esbonko Bogdan. And it looks pretty freaking sweet. The design of it, like a castle going on. Let's see what they have in store for us here. Hopefully some wine. 
Go do the red carpet, Tiff. <laughs> Man, this is pretty fancy here. Not bad. Thank you. Oh man, this is super nice here. I like the little honesty. Alright. Super nice. So we arrived too late for the wine tour, but they just told us that we could take a look around and they're gonna show us in a minute once the wine tour is over so we'll take a little private tour of the property but to be honest i'm pretty impressed with the grounds here it's just beautiful everywhere around so they have a huge Levels. restaurant with a beautiful library upstairs hangout area. Wow, this place is awesome. Look at the chandelier. Feels like in a movie. <laughs> Super cool wooden boat. guys so we are having the cuvee number one which is a local serbian red wine and it is really good actually we're looking here in the bottle it's one of their premium wines and apparently it won the 2021 decanter world wine gold awards <laughs> and what do you think of this wine i feel very fancy right now <laughs> mr delicious. michael <laughs> in this fancy house having this fancy wine here goes the lady that doesn't Salud. like wine. <laughs> yeah, still no. <laughs> ask ask Tiff. Tiff. I think it's delicious. It is an amazing wine. <laughs> Vicky just doesn't like wine. <laughs> we could give her the number one best wine in the world. She still not like it. It's fair. She doesn't have to like everything, but yeah. If you guys are in Serbia, definitely come to the wine region, it's beautiful and uh, the wine, it's very good. So, cheers! Don't get rid of it. So the person that did not like wine so much before... <laughs> is serving everyone and filling up her glass. Uno mas. <laughs> Uno mas. <laughs> One more. <laughs> wine. This makes... is my second glass. Well, but that's a very tall glass. It's like your fourth. That's the, no that's the normal size. That's not the normal size. <laughs> they normally serve it like down here. I follow, the, inst like I follow the instruction from the, the lady. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Tiff approves of your serving size. You approve. Look at this. <laughs> She's like halfway through. Vicky was like, it's mine. It's all mine. <laughs> Oh, I didn't measure. I didn't. They need to put a line. <laughs> <laughs> After two Kube number ones, then you end up loving wine. <laughs> well, no, actually, this one is not dry. I, I hate dry wines. So this one is not dry. It's a little bit dry. So that's why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what my problem is going to be now? It's like everywhere we're going to go now and there's going to be wine. And since I enjoy wine, no matter what, it could be the cheap wine. And then she's going to be, oh, but do they have cuvee number one? <laughs> Which you can obviously just probably find in some very fancy places oh, around yeah. the world or like freaking Serbia. <laughs> and they're like, no, it's <laughs> not cuvee number one. I'm not having their shitty wine. <laughs> or Lambrusco. That's really good. Play the whole family with yeah, there you go. Well, that was definitely a really cool winery experience. Unfortunately, we couldn't get too much footage in the cellar because it's not allowed. But wow, wow we were pretty impressed of all the barrels of wine and everything that they had going on. Yeah, we got a nice big Fiat. For 57 bucks guys not what? bad yeah 57 
57 dollars or euros nowadays because it's one to one pretty much yeah. we got a family size fiat for dude, you all dude you know italian at its finest italian at its so how was the wine guys it was good we liked it so much that we ended up buying three <laughs> three more bottles and Just another one <laughs> So these bottles are supposed to go to Germany, but um, I don't no, think they're gonna leave the country. <laughs> with, with two Colombians hanging around for a week, um, I don't think that's happening, my friends. Oh wait, guys, we didn't find on the cork. Oh. oh yeah, where's the cork? I have it. Show the cork. Show okay. the cork. So we have the date. Sweet. August 21st, 2022. And then we have our names and we're gonna write down a fun memory. And what was the memory that we were memory. deciding on? Memory we that was like friends was like reconnecting with friends. Yeah, something like a friends keep life. Oh, and then yeah. we were supposed to add something else. What was the thing? Keep uh, friends keep life. Uh, friends keep life flavorful. 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 Okay. There you go. <laughs> <That one. laughs> All right. So close to the winery, there is a little city called Subotica, very in the north of Serbia. And it actually looks super cute. It's got like this colonial feel to it. We just park. Let me make sure uh, it's a lock. Get the lock in the car going. Very good. And now let's go find the restaurant. But yeah, check these places out, guys. It's like colonial style. Even though it's a little rainy, but not too bad. So we're gonna go find a restaurant to get some food. What's up, Dogo? and explore the little city of Subotica for a little while. So, so here's the store of the winery that we were just at in the middle of town. That's super nice. We just bought three bottles later. Calm down. And this is the restaurant that they recommended that's apparently owned by the same guy from the winery, Boss Cafe Atrium. So let's go check this out. Well, look at all this food here, guys. Yeah, you can save that. Somehow we gotta get it off. Yeah. And this Boss Cafe has the same art as the wine bottles that we were having. And we are totally loving the vibe here with all this art. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of like. Russian eggs back there that look amazing. Do you guys have like English meat or that's like serious? I think there's English on the meat. All right, so we are having a full meal with carpaccio pizza here. What do we have here? Some lamb. Tea. Lamb stew with risotto. Nice. Some fancy chamomile. <laughs> that's actually how it's called on the yeah. menu. Yeah. Vegetarian some vegetarian pizza. pizza and some fried cheese and just to let you know guys this was like five euros this was like 10 euros how much were the pizzas like 10, 10 euros. euros or so just so you get an idea of the prices here in Serbia all right bon appetit So we just made it to Novi Sad and as you can see it's still super wet and rainy but it looks as a very beautiful city. Hopefully we'll get the chance to explore. In the meantime we're just hanging out here. Say what's up. What's up? And this is what an Airbnb or a nice looking apartment looks like in Novi Sad, Serbia. And you can get something like this for about $60 a night, which is a really good deal, especially for two bedrooms. We got some wine here going on, on the kitchen. Let's go check out the, it's got a one bedroom here and another bedroom here. So definitely a good price for an Airbnb for two bedrooms for 60 bucks. So. We are going to wait it out, see if the rain stops and go out and explore the town. So this looks super dead because of the rain, but Novi Sad 
it's actually a pretty beautiful city all right so we walk into downtown Novi Sad which is super beautiful and there is a whole orchestra going on right now So after getting super lucky with that free concert in the middle of the city, we are walking around at night and this city is definitely super beautiful. Novi Sad, about two hours driving from Belgrade, has a very beautiful architecture and a very beautiful vibe with musicians on the streets, little shops and restaurants. So we are definitely enjoying this road trip, even though the rain is not really helping us but anyways we're still enjoying this awesome city here's a pretty interesting sculpture right in the middle of Novi Sad with some skulls fortunately we can really understand what's going on but oh 1783 Oh yeah? yeah? But do you understand anything? The Bourbon born anno 1760 something. Semmer gestorben, so died 1783. It's a memorial. In the to Lake. Francisca Josefa at Le Bon. City. Interesting. All right, so we just woke up, found a really nice restaurant, super fancy, but we are super happy with the price this year on Novi Sad. We found like this crazy breakfast at this super nice fancy restaurant and each one of these breakfasts is all under five euros or five dollars, even for Mr. Austrian sausage <laughs> with three eggs and fries for brekkie. Got some fresh stoves here, so yeah, let's enjoy this breakfast, guys. Ciao, ciao. So this is what a Monday morning looks for some people in Novi Sad, Serbia. Just kids enjoying the park, people exercising, dogs on the water. Definitely a pretty chill atmosphere here. So Novi Sad definitely has a pretty cute architecture. Pretty lively here. Good people on the main road. And oh man, it is actually super pretty here. I love the architecture of Novi Sad, definitely. Yeah. So last night we forgot the contact. contact solution. We walked back and they had it. Oh, Very nice. Cool. <laughs> Just look at the roof of the church. It's gorgeous. People going here by the fountain. But this is the main attraction by far here in Novi Sad. The main cathedral is absolutely gorgeous for sure. This is where the concert was happening last night. They already got rid of the stage. But man, this city keeps on giving. So there's the famous castle fortress of Novi Sad, which got a sign saying that they're the European capital of Europe. We'll have to double check into that. Of culture. Did I say something else? European capital of Europe. <laughs> yes. European capital of Europe. European capital of culture. So we'll have to double check into that. Like, like. All right, so we are inside the fortress. 
cars, which is very interesting that they let cars drive because most fortresses normally don't allow cars and they even have like a light in here. Who are we waiting for? I think we could just go or do we wait? Maybe. Oh, they must be oh, yeah. a one way. So I'm sure we'll just wait in to see if there's another car coming from the other side. This is a funny light to have right in the middle of a fortress. <laughs> yeah. Alright. First time I've ever driven through like a fortress. This is amazing. It will be nicer to come in a carriage, I guess, but <laughs> in a carriage. Interesting experience for sure. Wow, look at this. Proper tunnel. So this is the main attraction of Novisat. And unfortunately we don't have much time because we need to go return our car, but the fortress definitely looks pretty cool. buildings again All good? Uh, so that was a really cool car renting experience. The guy was sitting at the Marriott Hotel, which is right here in the center of town. We just gave him the keys. He checked the car and now we are on our way. No lines, no waiting, no driving to the airport. We are literally here where we started in the center of Belgrade. So cool road trip. Hope you like this little road trip to Novi Sad. Thanks for watching guys.